Hi folks, my name is Paul B.J. Ransbury. I'm the president of APS Emergency Maneuver Training. This is just a short video on our new capability at APS, which is a full motion training device for general aviation pilots flying light airplanes, whether they're single engine or multi-engine aircraft. And we're going to show that device to you in just a couple minutes. As you see outside here in Arizona right now, it's one of those days, I should say unique days in Arizona, where it's bad weather. We had thunderstorms this morning and rain, so uh, I think it's a good theme for us to talk about our simulation simulator training uh, that we have here. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the simulator. Uh, in this room we have our mission preparation room. These are guys from the U.S. Army getting ready to go there up and do real airplane training. They'll be flying in the extra 300s a little bit later as it's clearing up. But let's go down here and uh, take a look at our simulator. Now I was just in there and I got it frozen so it's a little bit uh, off level right now but as you come in here and you take a look at it uh, first thing you'll notice, it's an FAA-approved advanced aviation training device. So you can actually do training for your regular flight hours, for your private and commercial. And in fact, we offer that in the off hours. But one thing you'll notice is that it has yaw capability, roll capability, and pitch capability. And we're going to take a look at that in a second. And it's also reconfigurable. So we can have it as a Cessna 172. We have a Baron 58 capability here as well. Uh, the other training devices we can have emulated in this cockpit is a Cirrus SR-22, Beach Banana. Anza, Piper Aero. So there's a variety of airplanes that we can model uh, in this training device. And I'll show you how it's reconfigurable. Let's go ahead and come on in the cockpit. And uh, I'll just talk about it a little bit. And as you look over my shoulder, you'll see right in this 172, we have the standard six-pack configuration, the Garmin 530-430 stack. And uh, our, the Baron 58 is a G1000 cockpit, so it's, uh, it's this acrylic, just you spin these thumb wheels off, you pull it off, the throttle quadrant comes out, control column quadrant comes out, and it's all reconfigurable. So it only takes a few minutes to reconfigure. Over here is the instructor station, which is just a, a tablet PC interface, uh, just through a CAT5 cable. And the instructor control the failures, and he can control the weather and relocation and different things like that. And, uh, and that's kind of great. So the instructor can either sit in here with the tablet or externally plug into the simulator. And what I'll do here is just so you can see it, I'm going to go ahead and release the motion. And we're going to end the video. I'm just going to do a little flying or on approach in here to the Aspen Airport. Just so you can take a look and see the visuals. And as I do some maneuvering, we'll just get the video to go backwards so you can see the motion of the training device. But it is, uh, it is pretty cool. All the same limitations that any simulator has over the real airplane, but still a great way to practice practice procedures, see the instrumentation of your own type of airplane, so it's, uh, it's valuable that way. I'm going to go ahead and release it and we'll just finish the video off.